Hey y'all, it is raining cats, dogs, chickens today, and I kind of like it. Why do my eyes always bother me when I get on camera? Hmm? I'm fine, whatever. And because the rain, I got this mess going on. You ever see what those kids like in the dollar store, snot running out of their face, their hairs in their face, and they just look like you need to do this, wipe their nose? I feel like one of those kids today. I got all this hair up in my face. I should be grateful for my hair. But y'all see this receding hairline? I'm gonna be bald before I'm like 40, I swear. I got a package in the mail. So let's open it. Okay. Oh, somebody sent bags. Holy crap, and they're the biggins. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. Look at that shit. Let's find out who these are from. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. It's going on my wall. Sunshine, my crochet schedule is pretty full, and I wish I had the time and extra yarn to send hats. But I did not... I, did have a partial box of two gallon bags, so please put them to great use, Left Beth. Miss Beth, you didn't tell me you were sending me a package. Honey, thank you so much. Thank you. I need to get two gallon bags. Those are freaking awesome. I've only been able to find one gallon, and I can only put four to five hats in there. So, yes. Thank you, Miss Beth. Knuckles. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I feel all special. <laughs> I really do. Thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to cram that thing full of... I'm going to put a 10 pounds body in a 3 pound... How does that go? 10 pounds of mud in a 5 pound sack? Yes, I'm going to hook some hats up in that thing. Do y'all hear the rain? It's fabulous. I just gotta do some. Somebody come do this hair. I don't care what you do with it. Just, just. I would like a braid. Somebody come braid it. Yeah. <laughs> so, anywho. Other than that, there's not a whole lot going on today. Um. I did do a doodad last night. It's just a simple one. And, um. These take forever. There's 73 stitches and it's just round and round and round until I feel however I want to go. And I made these very close to the skin um, so that way it'd be warm. I'll put this little bad boy on for you. See? That's nice. Yes. And of course you can pull your hair out or whatever you want to do. But I feel like this is the way to go because it's up covering your head. Guys that have ball caps on can, you know, make sure their ears are covered. So that's going to, I'm going to make a couple of those. Um, I've got a red one going right now. So, yes. And I need some lunch too. I'm starving. I'm not ate today. I had to go take care of some business cause somebody we're not even going to discuss that cause it's just going to make me mad um but if you're ever thinking about getting married don't do it, save yourself the headache and being lied to and some serious shady business just save yourself that it'll be all good, why is the camera not focusing um I knew better not to get married this time I knew better, I knew deep down that I should not have been doing that but I did it. But you know what? At least my kids have a model to look up to that be like, this is not, how, this is how you don't run life. <laughs> this is the way not to work in your life. I just hope my kids find a good man or a woman or whatever they want to be with and get treated with respect and not have somebody that is so damn shady. Ooh. I almost need a drink of water for all this shade and salt. Mm -mm -mm. 
I need to put on some sunglasses too. I just hope my kids are better than I am. I just, I hope that every day, my kids are amazing kids and I just want them to be the best and not some failure of a person like I've been. And, uh, yeah, I just hope, I just hope. I really think they're going to get bored in life and be really good kids. And whatever they choose, whoever they choose to marry, that they'll be equal partners and not being walked all over. And I don't have to worry about the mom issue with with my kids. Well, whatever their partner. But I know on my kids' side that my mom is not going to be like somebody else's mom. Um, I don't know about their partners. You know, you don't need, you don't ever know. But I just hope that. They don't come across with somebody with mommy issues. Because that's a tough, tough road to deal with. It's a very tough road. So, you know. I figured being a man, you'd be a man and not be so attached to your mom that you do everything she tells you to do. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So, anyway. On that note, I'm going to go find some food. Because I'm hungry. I know. I'm a fat girl. I'm always hungry. No. I've been doing really good. Um, drinking my water. Here lately for lunches, I've been eating cauliflower, broccoli, and tuna. A little tuna packet. And it's been okay. I'm still hungry, but, you know, at least it's food and it's not something bad. I probably need to go close my vents. But, anyway. Thank you, Miss Beth. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all later.